Hello and good morning, my fellow trucketeers. How the devil is everyone? Hope you're all well. All right, we're on a ramp at the moment, so we've got to go nice and easy off. Got a lift in the yard, so we just parked on that. Because <laughs> we have the little baby trailer. Oh, blinded by the light. As you can hear, it's a very noisy trailer. Yep, we have the baby flatbed trailer, so we're going to have a day with that today. So, yeah. Now, I didn't film last week, so after the last video, I've had a week's off, week off from filming, because well, I thought Monday was going to be a boring day, and it turned out to be a very busy day, so I should have filmed that day, but I didn't. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Decided the rest of the week that I couldn't be bothered, so I didn't. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I've... Today is February 19th, it is a Monday, and I am filming today. Because we have the small trailer. We know how much everyone likes the small trailer. So we got a load to take up to High Wickham. And then we got a load to collect from somewhere. So we actually have a return load with this trailer. It's not often we get a return load with this trailer, being as it's so small. Obviously you can't fit 26 pallets worth of stuff on it, so... <laughs> you can probably fit about... I don't know how many pallets it holds actually. It's less than 20. It's less than your normal urban would be. I don't know. I have measured it, but I can't remember what it is now. I'll have to measure it again. Yeah, so it's only, it's only a little one. Yep, so we're going to make our way up the High Wick and we're about three hours away. And uh, yeah, I won't bore you too many details while it's dark. So I will speak to you a little bit later when um, I'm a little bit further on. See you in a bit. Right, so, second time this has happened now. <laughs> the uh, wrap on the pallets is undressing itself. Still out so yeah. <laughs> See, undressing itself. So we ain't got much further to go, so I'm hoping that's going to be alright now. Everything else is alright, it's just that bit keeps undressing itself. <laughs> so we're going to continue on our way, we've only got about 30 odd minutes to go, so hopefully it will uh, stay done up. Alright, let's get back in. Alright, here we are in the midst of morning rush hour in Wickham. Wickham, High Wickham, same place in it. High Wickham's different to Wickham? I don't know. Wickham anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> traffic, traffic, and more traffic. It's supposed to have been here by like between 8 and half 8. Now I'm due to at 8.35 now, like five minutes away. So, yes. <laughs> I was due here at like quarter past, which was like ideal. Bearing in mind I had a 15 minute break at Roundham's. So, eh, it ain't done too bad, I guess. We're a little bit behind, but not too bad. Did have to stop a couple of times to stop the wrap from flapping around off the edge of the trailer. <laughs> but nah, it's alright, we're all good. Just got this bloody great hill to go. That van is really smoky. Standard for a transit though, isn't it? <laughs> I think he's uh, burning something other than diesel. He's cooking a bit of water as well. Me thinks he's got a head gasket gone. Alright, so we gotta go down there and go left towards the university. And uh Yeah. I 
uh, trucks quite smoky as well. They've got all the smoky vehicles around here. <laughs> oh well. As long as it's not me that's smoky, that's the main thing. Literally me, not the truck. <laughs> I'll be worried if I'm smoking. <clears throat> I'll let you go. Everyone else can wait. I might let the car behind you go as well. No, I think he wants the other lane anyway. Come on, you can go. No one coming. You got a second. Go, 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 go. <laughs> So I believe it's literally in here on the right hand side. So I'll turn left off this like first exit off this funny roundabout thing. This is like a weird version of the magic roundabout in um, Swindon. So it's a bit more sort of rectangly sort of shape and quite a bit more spread out, but similar sort of thing where it's a round bit of road with like several other little round round little roundabouts around it. They got one like it in Colchester as well, but obviously the one that everyone knows is in um it's just my engine brakes tunnel. Um the one everyone knows is in Swindon. So my Tom Tom a second ago literally did just call this a magic roundabout. <laughs> but it's not the magic roundabout. It's one of a few in the country, I guess. Yep, yeah, you're gonna beef at me because there's a fence there. I know. That's fine. Go across him. Yeah. Alright, we can get down here now. I don't know if I've got to go in the car park or what, I don't know, but I'll figure it out in a minute, I guess. But I know it's up here. Oh, ambulance. Go. It's in there somewhere I've got to go. I think. There's a car park here somewhere. Do I go in the car park? I don't know. I really don't know where I'm supposed to go with this. There's an Argos van down there. Ah, I think these are the guys I need. So everyone's now in my way. <laughs> There's a crane there, I wonder these are waiting for me. I wonder if that Argus van's in the way. So it seems pretty tight there. We'll figure it out in a second. See if I can get past his van first. I don't think I'm going to be able to. <laughs> Alright, where do you want me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll be alright. I'm assuming you're from Mark Peak. That's what I've got. Go in there, spin round, come back out, I suppose, or? I think so, mate, yeah. yeah. Try, and get you Try and get me there, yeah? Just upload your first in Twitter, yeah. get you gone, and then we can probably... Cool, no worries, I'll get in there, see if I can whip it round, and then, yeah. Alright. Get to my backside, it's not going to clip the fence. Pass these cones. This little trailer's quite noisy. Alright. We should be able to get around it, not a problem. Like I said, we only got a tiny little trailer on, so we'll be good.
get it the right way. It's only Diddy, so she turns pretty quick. There's someone walking behind me. There we go. Oh, and someone else. Thing is, when she turns, she turns quick. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, before the bit. Get her nice and slow. Make sure I'm going to miss that cart. Yeah. Get her lined up for the crane and then we'll uh, get unloaded. So we're just being unloaded. We're literally last pallets being taken off now. The Argus van disappeared just as soon as I got here, so <laughs> maybe they'll see in the mirror there. Sort of everything's all just been put on the road for now. Apparently where it's going, you can only lift 200 and something kilos and the pallets are about four no. You can only lift about 100 and something kilos at a distance because it's only a tiny little crane. So they gotta strip a couple of the pallets down and lift half half it off at a go. So, <laughs> but that's their problem, not mine. I wouldn't pull an air power because there's nowhere for you to go right now. All right, that's the last one off. Just gotta wait for the guy to jump off. And we're good to go. Everyone is out the way. Recording. Let's get out of here with our noisy little trailer. This guy needs to move, otherwise I can't go nowhere. Especially this guy that stood there. There's a fence there, so that's why it's beeping at me. There was a guy in there waiting to come out as well, but he's had to wait for most of it to come off. <laughs> Looked like a food van of some sort. He's been waiting for me to go. If I pull out and block the way, no one will be able to come down then. And then, yeah. Let's wait for everyone to come out. There we go, the guy's turning in there. And we are out. Right, I don't know exactly where it is I'm going now. I've called me boss, but he <laughs> he didn't answer the phone as usual. So I'm just going to head on back up towards the M4 for now. And uh, M4? M40. Yeah, I'm a motorway over. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to head up there for now. And I could probably pop on the 404 and park up somewhere down there. And if I need to turn around, I can turn around. There's roundabouts and stuff down there anyway. So we'll see. So yeah, that was a nice, easy, quick job. It was a case of, right, pull in, turn around, park there, we'll get everything off, everything's off, away we go. <laughs> I've been in there like five minutes, so, well, maybe 10, but we can't complain at that, can we? All right, let's uh, wait, find somewhere to stop, wait for my boss to call me, and then figure out where we're going after that. I'll see you in a bit. Where are you going, coach? You coming this way or are you going that way? So, here we are at Teddington, Teddington, Toddington, Toddington Services. I'm sure that's the one. Anyway, we've pulled in here for a half hour break to clear our driving time because we would have arrived at the customer, yeah, pretty much bang on our driving time. So I figured 
Let's not risk it for a biscuit. We'll uh, get a break in. I can't actually see if there's anyone coming. It's a bit too too much of an angle. The problem about space is it's a bit rubbish. Yeah, <clears throat> so we've had a half hour break here, cleared our driving time. Um, yeah. So my boss sort of said to me when I left the last customer, he, I sort of stopped. Um, uh, just up the road anyway. Um, I called him again and he answered and said, uh, he's not in the office, he'll be there in an hour. Head towards Bedford. <laughs> so we're off to bandit country, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he said, I'm collecting a pump and it's up near Bedford, so I can only assume it was one customer, so I had a look on <clears throat> on uh, Google Maps. I found who I thought the customer would be. Turns out I was right. They were off to Selwoods near Bedford, the other side of Bedford, near Bedford. So yeah, go there. Apparently we've got to pick up one pump, but as usual with this customer, I'm, I reckon there's gonna be other stuff to collect as well, because usually they add a couple of bits on there and there. But hopefully not too much, because I've only got the little teeny weeny trailer. So yeah. <laughs> hopefully it's just the one unit, but it could be two. And then that's heading down to Weymouth. So we're gonna head on out of here with a clear card. I say a clear card, a clear four and a half hour drive. And uh, head up to, to the collection point, which is half hour away apparently. So I will see you in just under half hour. Yes. Back on the old motorway one. Right, so we're just coming off the 421 onto the A428. I've safely made it along the 421 without having anything stolen, I think. <laughs> and you don't want to do on the 421, let's not slow down any more than 40 mile an hour, otherwise you will get your fuel nicked, you will have your curtains cut, you will have your load nicked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is bandit country. Anyone new out there, do not stop on the A421. I've learned the hard way a few times. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's just where I ended up when I've run out of time, but now on I'll either park before or I will carry on past my time to get past it because it was traffic that screwed me up the first couple of times after that I decided best not to park there at all I've had lights nicked off the truck I have had fuel stolen though not much because I scared them off because I blasted the air horns at like 11 o'clock at night and I've also had my curtains cut twice no once four times I've stopped on it once I was lucky. <laughs> so three out of four times I've had something happen, so don't stop on the 421. <clears throat> I have learnt since then. Right, so we are near the customer now. Let's see what they are adding on. Hopefully it's just the one pump, because that'd be nice and easy then. Four straps, jobs are good. Depends how big it is as well, I guess. Could be a small pump, but I'm gonna guess it's a biggish one. <clears throat> and we'll get this on and fire straight back down south. There was a bit of traffic on the M1 heading south, so I might continue up the M1 towards the A43 and then head down towards, uh, yeah, M40, A34, down that way. M3. A30, no, M27, A31, A35. Yeah. That's where I'm gonna be heading. <laughs> Hopefully. <clears throat> oh, you could turn them around. Nice indication, well done, pal. All right, in this little estate here somewhere. I think the entrance is on my right hand side. Who's beeping? Someone's beeping. I didn't do anything wrong, so if they're beeping at me, they're beeping at themselves theoretically. Ski. 
always thought it would be funny if I had to go on a bay with a flatbed one day. <laughs> I think that would be quite amusing. And obviously it's always curtain side, isn't it? Might one day just have a place that will load onto flatbeds, but... Oh, we have to put side protection up. <laughs> That'd be the case, wouldn't it? Alright. In here. Hammond Road. I think it's named after Richard. I mean, you've got Richardson's there. Richardson's Hammond. No? No? Alright, I'll shut up. <laughs> Uh, I'm just trying to be entertaining. I don't know. Maybe I should give up. <laughs> right. Down here somewhere. Ah, this is it. In forwards. Another truck in there. I'm going to pull forwards in there and then... Or should I stop out here? It won't hurt if I pull up here, will it? No, I'll just say the gate was open. I'll just pull up here for a second. I'm not going to be in the way. Right. Let's go see someone. I'll see you in a minute. Big load on boys, big load. <laughs> right, we are loaded, as you can see, with our little pump. It was a smaller pump than I was expecting. I was expecting a fully cased one, but this one's this one doesn't have a case, which is fine by me. Unfortunately, that guy sort of pulled up forwards there, so I can't reverse round in there, so now I'm gonna 
have to reverse out on the road maybe. I don't know, I could probably squeeze up around there and then reverse up, but uh, we'll just go nice and easy with this trailer. You gotta go nice and steady because like I said, when it starts turning, it turns really quick. So we'll just back out nice and steady on the road. He said I should have reversed him really, but oh well, what can you do? No dramas, that's what we like. So we will get on our way back down towards Weymouth. We're gonna, like I said, we got, I'm gonna need a 45 to get down there, so I've got three hours and 58 minutes driving left, and it's four hours and four minutes there, so we're about six minutes over, four and a half to get there. Oh dear, oh dear. So, here's what it is. Like I say, if I got all the way here in one go, I would have needed a break here. I would have probably just made it, or at least made it onto the estate anyway. And then um, have a break here. That would have probably been more beneficial, because then I could have had a half hour here, and then I could have got straight down to Weymouth in one go, but now I'm going to need a 45, which means I'm not going to be there until gone four o'clock. Which, hopefully, they'll still be open. I think they're generally open till five anyway. I mean, it's literally just an internal transfer anyway. It's moving from one of their sites to another one, so not a lot on there. The pump's probably only, what, about a tonne and a half, if that. So not a great deal, but... We got it strapped nice. I managed to strap over the top and have it pulling in both directions, so... Should be adequate strapping for it. <clears throat> yeah. Because usually on the cased ones, you've got little hooks you can hook onto at the bottom, but this one I haven't, so... I probably have, but I didn't really look that hard. But because there's nothing obstructing it over the top, I figure I'll just go through the frame and pull it in each direction. So, did a job for me. All right, let's get on down south. I will see you a bit later. Yes. All right. So we're on the A34 now. It does appear that it's a bit broken just north of Oxford. There appears to be a lot of new lakes around here at the moment. So, again, we've had copious amounts of rain over the weekend. Now everywhere's flooded again. When will this rain end? I mean, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It really is. Our garden is so sodden; it's unreal. It's just, it just won't drain away anywhere. It just keeps raining. Uh, it's dry now. I had a few pitter patters today, but all over there, I mean, you probably can't see, but it's just, the fields all turned to lakes. But yeah, I seem to have shot myself in the foot here because there was a bit of traffic on the M1 when I came up north, uh, head north. So I thought, oh, instead of going back down south around the N25, I'll come up and come down to 43, which was fine. So I've got the A34, and that's been bad. It's because everyone wants this turning. I should have moved over earlier. But no one's going to let me go now. Of course they're not. Because that would be too easy. Well, nope, not a single person is going to let me out to go. Oh, I'm getting a flash from the truck up there. Maybe he's letting me go. Oh no, everyone's actually moving forward now. Ugh, stupid roadworks. Hurry up. <laughs> yeah, so, all because of that. So we've been sat in a bit of travel for that. Yeah, I was quoted to get to the customer down in Weymouth for about just after half past three. And, uh, yeah, it's now saying four o'clock, so I've hit at least half hour's worth of traffic. Which is annoying. Obviously, I've still got to take a 45 as well. So that could mean I might not quite get back to the yard tonight. Are you going to put your foot down, or are you just going to sit there on the slip road? There we go. Put your foot down. There we go. What about you? Are you just going to... Just going to pull out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, anyway, yeah, just... 
not to be, I guess. Yeah, I might struggle it back to the yard tonight. We'll see what happens anyway. Depends if I get to the customer on time. I'm pretty sure they're there till five, but if I have a 45 minute break, I'm gonna be there the earliest half past four, I'm gonna say. But that's only if I make up a bit of time. Well, we'll try our best, see where we get to. Right, here we are down on the old Dorchester bypass, or Clutter Town bypass, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so I've driven for three hours and 52 minutes straight. <laughs> Literally haven't stopped since I left the other customer. Here we have been on a mission. So we are now here. We are currently 33 minutes away from my customer. But I need a 45 minute break, so yeah. Literally <laughs> eight minutes left on this four and a half. We're on eight and a half hours driving. And we're still 33 minutes from the customer, so we're going to be pretty much on nine hours driving as I arrive at the customer. So, yeah. Have a 45, so we're going to chill out here for a bit and then um, crack on and get this uh, pump off, I guess. Oh, there it be. See you in a bit. <laughs> Engine off. Right, so here we are in Weymouth. So we're right down. I say right down, we're not right down sort of just like on industrial estates near the <coughs> middle-ish of Weymouth I guess maybe a bit further down than that uh, on the sort of main route to Portland I guess would be the best way to describe it so we're just going to go around the corner here four minutes from the customer which means we're going to be there at half past four just before half past four and they're there till five whether they'll tip me or not they don't quite know if they don't, it'll be quite annoying because obviously I'll have to park up then and spend the night here and get unloaded at about 8 o'clock in the morning. So then, till about 8. So hopefully we can get this off straight away and then uh, fire on straight back to the yard. We have an hour and six minutes left on a 10 hour drive for today. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's going to be a bit tight to get back to the yard, but not too bad. It's probably going to be about... 40 to 50 minutes depending on traffic probably about 50 minutes so i've still got reverse well i think i've got reverse into the customer as well so obviously i've got that time to take up as well it's going to be a couple of minutes so yeah you go there we go that's fine <laughs> I don't think you have to slow down that much for that turn, but there you go. Alright, let's get down here. Quite like sharpish and get in there and go see someone in the office and be like, oh, I got your pump for you! <laughs> Where do you want it? <laughs> Hopefully, I ain't got any trucks or anything in the way that I can just get straight in without any worry. Working time, I'm not too worried. I've got plenty of work time. I can work up until about half past seven tonight. It's only what half past four now, so I'm on, I'm on 12 hours as we speak. So I've still got another three hours of working time. So if I have to wait for a bit, not an issue. But obviously, like I said, they finish at five, so hopefully they want to get me in straight away. Oh. Come on, Maz, they're out of the way. <sighs> into this estate from this side before. I've always come in the other way, I think. Oh no, I have come in this side, I just normally come down the road rather than up. Because uh, there was a bit of traffic coming the other way. Five minutes traffic. Now that'd be a difference of me getting home or not. <laughs> there. That's right at the end of this bit of road down there. This road could be interesting with all the cars parked up because if, if anyone's coming the other way, it'd be a bit of a squeeze, but hopefully it'll be all right. I mean, there's a few little places I can park up along here if I need to, but hopefully, like I said, we'll get this off today. Flash of me, that's cool. By the BMW behind you, has he spotted me coming up the road? Probably not. Oh no, he has, he's pulled in. Fantastic. Thank you. Shiva. Get up there. There it 
just right there. There's always loads of cars here because there's a garage right there, or a couple of garages right there, so there's always loads of cars parked around here, which makes it a bit more tricky than it used to be. Obviously, just being able to pull up outside that place can be annoying because there's just nowhere to stop. So I might have to pull up, nose up to the entrance to that place there. But there's not going to be anyone getting in and out of these places at the bottom here, so I'll go forward and I'll just block up the place at the moment. So, not going to hurt. Just go speak to someone. I will see you in a bit. We are set for home. 45 minutes from the yard, apparently. I said about 40 to 50 minutes, didn't I? So 45 is right bang in the middle of that. So that wasn't too bad. They had a little gap there, pulled their forklift into, I backed in, they lifted it off, I pulled forward. So yeah, worked out well, nice and easy. So yeah, <laughs> I've literally been there like 10 minutes, if that, so. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Hi. <clears throat> yep, so we're gonna go back to the yard. Apparently my trailer's being loaded right now for tomorrow, so yeah, I won't have to do much for that. I'll just literally run back to the yard and go home, so there won't be much else I could do after that. There'll be no running around with trailers when I get back because we'd have the time. But yeah. So, yes, I know, I know the EBS wire is not connected because this trailer doesn't have abs <laughs> so yeah you know plug the ebs cable in that's mean if you hit the brakes a bit too hard it does lock up the wheels but, nah. all right so we got a 45 minute drive back to the yard but yay home for the night Woo! we'll take that as a win so yeah fun times so yeah, we should get back with about 15 minutes left on a 10 hour drive, roughly. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on the traffic. Depends how the traffic builds up, really. Depends how long I'm gonna be sat here as well. <laughs> the beauty is I don't need as much room to come out of turn into this trailer, because it's so small. It follows really nicely. <laughs> Right, we've got one hour driving left. All right, back to the yard. I will see you soon. That is not helpful. That's not helpful. That is really, really not helpful. Something must have literally just happened up there then because it was fine when I came through. So I don't know where I can go now. I think I've got to turn right here. So this is the old way up towards Dorchester. So I assume I can still go up that way. Oh uh, no. It's going to be into my time. <laughs> I hope whatever's happened, whoever's involved is okay, but nah. 
<laughs> That's not helpful for me, but uh, it is what it is. We'll get back. We'll get back. We'll try anyway. All right then, boys and girls. We are nearly back in the yard. I have 15 minutes of driving left, and we're only a few minutes away from the yard. That car in front of me is showing some bizarre behaviour. <laughs> so come along the top of the A35 over Askers or whatever it is, Askers well. And um, I was catching up with this Fiesta and I thought oh, I'll try and overtake them before the dual carriageway ends. Anyway, as soon as they get put next to this Fiesta, it accelerates. Obviously stopping me from passing, so I'm like, okay. So obviously I'll back off, pull back in behind them. And I think this car must have been behind me and he must have thought I was blocking him from passing. But that wasn't the case, it was the Fiesta that was uh, stopping me from passing the Fiesta. Even though I was catching up with the Fiesta pretty quick. He was probably doing about 45 along there. Drew carriageway, bear in mind, so I was flat out. Yeah, so uh, this guy, I think, thought I was blocking him from passing, which wasn't the case. <laughs> he proceeded to flash me vigorously, and then when we got the next bit of dual carriageway, I let him pass because there was another car that we were catching up that was going slow, so I overtook that car. And then he's proceeded to this, just press the brakes a bit and slow down in front of me. I don't know what he's trying to achieve, it didn't really affect me at all, but yeah. I see him flapping around in the car, so he's obviously upset himself over something that had absolutely nothing to do with me. <laughs> yeah, Wally. And he wouldn't have got very far over taking that Fiesta anyway, because I'm pretty much directly behind him, and this was what, 10 miles ago? Yeah. Yeah, oh well, not my problem. Anyway, almost back in the yard. The camera behind me is probably about to die, so if it does die, then it is what it is. So yeah, that's my day done. We have made it. We have made it back with about 10 minutes driving left. By the time I've got in the yard turn around, probably about 8 minutes driving left. So all good. We've had a fun day. We have just gone over 13 hours as well, which is annoying. So I've used a 15 day by a few minutes. Probably by about 10-15 minutes by the time I'm in the yard. I might even have to hitch up to the other trailer, which I've got enough driving time to do. Yeah, yeah. but we've had a fun-filled, action-packed day. So we'll leave the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been a good little day with this little trailer. I do enjoy this little trailer sometimes. I don't want to drive it all the time, but yeah. It's a nice easy little trailer to drive with. Yeah. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, give it a share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. So take it easy, look after yourselves, drive safely, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Goodbye.